Since Prince William and Kate Middleton's wedding in 2011 the future Queen Consort's parents Michael and Carol Middleton have also been in the royal spotlight. In Moody's 2013 book, Kate, a biography, the author explained that Carol's BA training proved very useful for a time in the spotlight when Kate married Prince William in 2011. After brushing up on French, Carol Middleton begged for a job as ground staff for British Airways. She met Michael Middleton when he was also working as ground crew before becoming a flight dispatcher, while Carol later became a cabin crew member. This raises a big problem about Meghan's mother, Doria, a person whose resume is not clear. She claims the job as a flight attendant in EasyJet, but unlike Carol Middleton, she has no documents to prove it or any information about it. Even Johan Lundgren, chief executive officer of EasyJet, denied there had ever been a single employee of the airline in the 80s named Doria. EasyJet PLC is a British multinational low-cost airline group headquartered at London Luton Airport. It operates domestic and international scheduled services on 927 routes in more than 34 countries via its affiliate airlines EasyJet UK, EasyJet Switzerland, and EasyJet Europe. One possible reason for the lack of evidence of Doria Ragland working as a flight attendant, as claimed, is that there is a complete dearth of any such evidence, especially photographs. Back in the 80s, working as a stewardess was a high-status job, and women would always have their photos taken in uniform, but apparently, none exist of Doria Ragland in her uniform at that time. What exactly is being hidden here? The short answer to the question must be that the question remains open. There's an apparent gap in Doria Raglan's resume that needs to be explained. Allegations can be found that Doria Raglan went to jail for not paying taxes in relation to the travel agency business she ran. The business was allegedly bought for her by Thomas Markle Sr., which explains their absence in Meghan Markle's life from junior through to graduation from senior high school. There are also alternative explanations for why the young Meghan was sent to live with her father. One explanation is that Doria had entered a relationship, and there was no room for the unwanted Megan, and that Thomas lived in a better area and could obtain better schooling. The latter explanation sounds more realistic, but the jail rumor is still present. Many people have heard that Thomas Markle Sr. hit the lottery jackpot, winning an incredible amount of $700,000, but this money did not bring him happiness because he didn't win it honestly. Thomas, on the advice of his beloved wife, used connections. It was during this difficult period of his life that Doria decided to divorce her husband. She left and, without waiting for a divorce, filed for alimony, claiming maintenance not only for her daughter but also for herself. During this period, Thomas Markle began to drink. As the travel company was officially owned by Thomas, Doria decided to create problems for him by not paying taxes in America. Tax evasion is a very serious crime and one can go to jail for it. Since he already had a suspended criminal record, Doria expected to put her ex-husband behind bars for a long time. However, from witnesses, the tax service learned that she was solely engaged in the affairs of the firm, which, according to documents, belonged to Thomas Markle. The case was referred to the criminal police department and then to court. Doria faced 15 years in prison for the crime but received four years in prison for financial fraud thanks to the good soul of Thomas, who hired her a good lawyer. Another that news, Meghan Markle's mom, Doria Ragland, had an artsy outing in California. Doria, 66, was spotted in Beverly Hills on Thursday attending an exhibition by artist Honor Titus followed by a dinner at a local restaurant. It appeared that her daughter, Meghan, and son-in-law